Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to blend your header and body using Divi's post content module and section dividers. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. So the first thing we need to do here is to head over here to Divi, click on Theme Builder. This is where we're going to do most of our work. So let's go ahead and add a brand new template and this template needs to be applied to all the pages. So I'm gonna click on this plus button, click on all pages, create template. Now I can go in and start working on my design. So let's start with the header. So I'm gonna come over here, click on add custom header, build custom header. So here we're gonna build from scratch. And before I can start adding any, any columns here, I'm gonna go into my section settings here and add a background gradient. So I'm gonna click here on the second tab, click on the plus button, and I'm gonna add my first color. Now, if you wanna use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. Now I'm gonna add my second color. So I'm gonna paste it in here. So over here, everything else is okay. So we're gonna leave it as it is. Next, let's come over here and go to spacing. So over here on spacing, I'm gonna add a top and bottom padding. So here we're gonna set this to one VW and we're gonna apply this both to the top and the bottom. Now, what we also need to do is to apply our settings for our mobile devices. So I'm gonna click on this little icon here, click on tablet, and then here we're gonna set it to 2VW, and on the phone, we're gonna set it to 2VW as well. Now, the reason why we're doing this is just to make sure that everything looks great on all devices. All right, so moving on, we also need to make sure that this header is above everything. So we need to come over here to advanced, click on position, and just make sure our Z index is, you know, basically, set to the highest here. So we can add 999 if you want, but 500 should do fine. And that just ensures that everything is, I mean, the header is above everything. All right, so now that we've added this, I'm gonna save and then over here now, I'm gonna add my column structure and I'm gonna go with this one here. Now, before we can actually go in and start adding our modules, let's go into our row settings and make some changes. So first of all, I wanna come over here to design click on sizing and make sure our gutter width here is set to one. So what the gutter width is, is just the space between the columns. So we just make sure that there's no spaces between our columns. And then over here for our width, we're gonna set this to 100% and our maximum width, same 100%. Now let's head over here to spacing. So what we need to do here on the padding is just to add zero both to the top and the bottom because we don't want to have a lot of uh, thickness over here on our header. Finally, we also need to make sure that when we go to different mobile devices, everything all everything here is all in a single line. And to do that, I'm gonna add a piece of CSS code here, and this needs to go in the main element, and this is the code. Now, this code can also be found in the post which I'll link to in the show notes below. All right, so it seems like we have everything that we need here, so now it's time to start adding all our information. So first of all, you can see here, I don't have access to add my module over here. So I'm gonna click on these three little dots, click here on wireframe mode, click on this plus button, and now I can add my image module. Go ahead and select it and switch back over here to the front end editor. So over here, there's a few things we can do here. We can just click dynamic link and add our site logo that way. Or if you want it, you can just add it as an image and then you can just go to your media library and choose your logo that way. In fact, here's our logo here. I'm gonna go ahead and select it, upload an image. So pretty much it's the same effect. Next, I'm gonna come over here to design alignment. Make sure that this is aligned center. Now, as you can see, the size of this logo does not look great. So let's head over here to sizing and make a few changes. So here we're going to set this to 6VW and let's go into the tablet as well. We're going to set this to 13VW and for the phone, we're going to set it to 17. 
So pretty much this is all we need to do here. Switch back over here to my desktop. And over here on the desktop, uh, to be honest, you can just increase this a little bit if you see that your logo is a bit too small. So I'm gonna save this now. And on the middle here, we need to add a menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my menu module. So this will automatically assign to your main menu on your website. So as you can see here, it's my main menu. But in your case, you can click the drop down and select the actual menu that you've set on your website. So first things first here, I need to come over here to my background and remove that background now let's head over here to design click on layout so you want to make sure it's left aligned and drop down menu direction is set to downwards now it's time to customize our text so i'm going to come over here to menu text change it from default to oswald so i'm going to select that so over here for the font weight we're going to set this to light uppercase and white so the white really stands out on this dark background now we also need to add our menu text size so over here i'm going to set it to 0.8 vw and i'm also going to go in and set my sizes for the tablet and for my tablet i'm going to set it at 2 vw so i'm just going to add it in here and for the phone it's going to be 2.5 vw so now that i have all my sizes uh, we also need to add a bit of letter spacing so i'm going to switch back over here to my desktop and for the letter spacing i'm going to add 0.1 now i want you to uh, take a look at something here if i go to my tablet you notice that my icon here has this grayish color now that can also be changed if i come over here click on icons and then over here you can see we have the hamburger menu icon color let's set it to white and let's make sure it's working. And there we go, it's now working. Right, so pretty much that's all we need to do here. So I'm gonna go back over here, let's click on save, and then we are going to add a button to this module here. So you can add whatever text you want in here. And the link also has to link to whatever you page you want or whatever URL. In my case, I'm just gonna add a blank link. So next, I'm gonna come over here to design alignment and make sure your button is aligned center. Now we need to go into the button settings. So let's head over here to button now to go into your settings you need to activate use custom styles for button set this to yes and let's start with the text size which is going to be 0.6 vw so make sure here it's set to vw now let's set the size for tablet and here it's going to be 1 vw and then for the phone it's going to be 1.5 vw so moving on the button text color needs to be black and our background color here is going to be white now you can see here the border does doesn't look great so let's set this to zero so all we have is just a button with no borders so for the bottom border radius i'm going to set this to 100 pixels so you can see the styling of the button here is slightly different now moving on let's head over here to a button letter spacing i'm going to set this to two so the weight here is going to be bold and i'm also going to make it all uppercase now let's further customize this button here so let's head over here to spacing so over here on spacing we need to add a top and bottom padding and we're going to set this to 0.8 and then for our left and right padding we're going to set this to 1.5 so the reason why we're going out of our way to do this is just so that we have a totally different style of button here so now that i have my button all set now we need to add a custom body so let's go ahead and do that so i'm going to save this so here our head header is done i'm going to save this and close out of here now it's time to add our custom body so i'm going to click here on add custom body so here we're going to build from scratch and we're just going to close this so here we also notice that we have a section so what we need to do now is to create a divider style. So I'm going to come over here to my section settings, design, dividers. So I'm going to start with the top here and then I'm going to look for my style here on the bottom. And the style I'm going to go with is this one right here. Next, I'm going to add my colors. So my divider color here, I'm going to click on the eyedropper tool and paste my color like that for the divider height i'm going to set this to 6 vw and then over here on the repeat i'm going to set this to 15 x click on flip vertical and then you want to make sure here that your content or oh, it's above the content or on top of the content right so moving on let's head over here to spacing and we just want to make sure that our padding here is set to zero but 
both to the top and the bottom and then save. Now it's add time to add a brand new row. Right, so now it's time to add our row. So I'm gonna click on this plus button and add a single column. Now, before we add anything in here, let's head over here to our row settings. So I'm gonna click here on row settings, design, sizing, making sure use custom gutter width is activated. We are going to save, uh, make sure it's set to one Then over here, 100% and maximum width is also going to be 100%. And then for our top and bottom padding, we're also going to save, uh, make sure that this is set to zero, set it here, activate my chain so my value can be applied both to the top and the bottom, and then save. Now it's time to add our module. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and this time we're gonna add our post content module. And now we're gonna save. So now that we've added everything that we need here on our template, I'm gonna click on save, close out of here. We're gonna save changes as well here. And now let's take a look at our website. So now we can see we have this beautiful design here on our pages. And in fact, we can go to pretty much any page and it will still have this design. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.